up everybody, Jack here. I'm going to be playing a little bit of an older game right now. This is Super Metroid. I'm actually running an emulator on my computer. Recording it in Fraps. Now a little bit about this game here. It's definitely one of the best games that's ever been created. No matter, uh, pretty much any generation will fall in love with this game. It's very addictive. It gives you that nice sense of isolation, kind of like... Uh, the first Alien movie, Sigourney Weaver was just trying to get out of the ship itself and just survive. That isolated feeling I really enjoy during a game like this. Uh, also, the side-scrolling platform is amazing. And so, I've always been a fan. Now, in this area here, you're going to be going up to Mother Brain. Now, these little things you're going to want to shoot with super missiles. Because uh, with the regular missiles, it just takes too long. It's pointless. You're just going to get attacked by those little weird round things. Just keep blasting your way through, all the way to Mother Brain. Now, I have no idea, at the top left, you'll notice I'm missing an energy tank. For the fans of the game, know what I'm talking about, if you can get them all. I don't know where this one is, nor do I know which one it is, so... Alright, now once you get the Mother Brain here, you're gonna want to switch to your regular missiles and just kinda unleash them on her. And don't even worry about these things attacking you, they'll, they'll never kill you. Just keep shooting, keep shooting. It's kind of very similar to the other Metroid games. Where you just come here and you blast Mother Brain. Awesome. I was thinking, why is it the same? What's going on? Why would they do something like that? On this one, they switched it up just a little bit. As soon as you're done unloading on the brain here, the Mother Brain. Come on. Come on. Oh, one super missile at that end, alright. Yeah, now the difference is, in this part, she's gonna turn into this crazy big Tyrannosaurus Rex-like beast alien thing. Anytime now. And what you're going to want to use here is you can notice um, the wave plasma and the freeze. Now you're going to want to use the charge beam and sit in the corner like this. Because with the charge beam it takes only about like 20 shots. As opposed to the missiles, it's like all of them. So it's a little easier. Just keep avoiding the stupid little things. dodging. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter if you don't dodge them, but at least get the 20 shots in by the time you lose all your energy. It's definitely a game I did not beat when I was younger, but I really wanted to, so I had to take it upon myself to get it again and go through it here. I recommend it to anybody who's a fan of this video game's period. The music's amazing, the gameplay is amazing, the secrets are amazing, just everything is amazing. They did an amazing, amazing, amazing job. I can't say that word enough. This is what I'm talking about here, that it's just gonna blast you while you're down until you lose all of your energy. Another trick too, to, I mean, to avoid all this, it's just wasting time. Towards the end of killing her, you could just ran into her leg until your energy was gone. So start the next thing here.
kind of a nasty, terrifying situation right there. I don't know if I can handle something like that crushing my skull. Now it's going to sit here and fill your energy up. And this dumb bitch mother brain here just won't freaking die. Just helps you shoot this crazy little laser. Okay, the brain is gonna take it again. Which is easier, I mean, just to sit in a corner and point up diagonal again and just unload. Once again, you're never gonna run out of energy by the time this thing dies. scrolling type of games here like this, especially when they're put together well. Zetabung, uh, so yeah, I don't know, I guess it's a German ROM, whatever. Anyway, side scrollers, like Mega Man, or Mega Man X, very, very good, fun games, but they do not have the sense of isolation, um, kind of making this almost like a sci-fi horror kind of game back in the day. I was younger, I was a little, I was a little freaked out playing it, but I was very excited to play through this. I don't know where the hell I'm going, I guess this way. Shoot the laser, shoot the laser. This part was pretty cool too. After you beat Mother Brain, I mean, you just have that you need to escape fast, and everything was shaking, freaking out around you, making you fall down. Kind of makes it a little tense. I was squeezing the controller pretty tight here. series and have played part one, this will look very familiar to you. Best way to get up these things is jump first, then move to the D-pad, as if you do it right the other way around, you're going to do that little flip. Getting the controls down in this game is very important. And 
and just beat Super Metroid. Everything about this game was top quality back in the day. Almost seven hours. That's not bad, even for games today. You're lucky to get something like that. And a good thing about the emulator I use, you can actually fast forward through certain things by holding a certain button. You can save anytime you want. Yeah, I don't think I got enough stuff. There's a couple different endings with her. And then you get like everything, she's like in a bikini. Oh, more German. 83%. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this again. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later!